Welcome to the first episode of Life of Mike. And we're here doing something to the camper van. Going to do a few little additions that I'm really excited to add to the camper van for convenience purposes, for family, and also for me. Really looking forward to it. A um, little bit of DIY, not quite sure how it's going to work out, but we'll make it work. So let me show you what I've got. Got a 50 inch projector screen here, a multi tablet mount rock mini mount here with a screw down base, a kind of clock, digital clock, miniature temperature gauge and humidity gauge just here, digital, a portable projector, the Nebula 2 mini, I think it is, miniature projector. It's almost like basically a beer can size, that's pretty awesome. And that comes with a remote and also some magnetic tape, A and B magnetic tape. Apologies for the hair, by the way. Bit of a funky hair day today. Been a long night with the little one. So this is the pop top. This goes up. Here's what I'm thinking. I use this mount and I install it somewhere here, kind of more towards the front end of the base of the bed. And then the screen, this screen I'm then hoping to put up at the top of the pop top, I hope it fits 50 inches, and that can then drop down and the projector can project an image almost like a home cinema, because this, remember, has speakers in it as well, really good quality speakers. So I don't need to have an additional sound system, it's already got it. And then I can project Netflix, sports, anything YouTube onto <laughs> the top of the pop top, that's my theory. Hopefully it works. Pop top is up. This is the 50 inch projector screen. Comes with a little like Velcro attachment here, I guess, yeah. It's got two hooks, little hook there. Sorry, loops, little loop there. And it just pulls out like that. I really hope this fits 50 inches, I'm not sure. I'm just looking at that and thinking that might be 50 inches. Oh, it just fits. Now I've got to figure out how to attach it maybe to those clamps there. Let's just kind of jerry-rig it first and see how this works out. So here's my thinking. I'm gonna use the straps, these cam straps, which keep the pop top secure to the top of the van roof when I'm driving. I'm thinking I'm gonna loop these through both the pop top and the hoops or the securing D-rings on the projector screen itself. It's a little bit of a jerry-rig. It's not gonna look amazing, but it's all about practicality. <laughs> so good. This fits perfectly, look. Perfectly fits in that gap on the pop top. And that's how I rigged it just for now, with the cam straps just holding it. Now I'm thinking I install the projector itself on the, the, the mount, like this, there, so I can sit at the back seats here and it projects the image onto the screen there. That's the theory. Let's see if it works. So this is what comes with the kit. It's the Rock Mini as the installation manual. That looks like the iPad tablet mount, which I will use as well. There's the top bracket to screw into the roof itself. Four holes, four screws. And there's the attachment that will go probably like that. And then the Nebula capsule will, will mount to this. It's my theory. I want it to be able to fit, if I come so far, too far back up here, it's not going to fit, it's going to go off the screen. See it's getting cut off the screen there. So I need to get it the right distance so it's plumb. Which is about there. i just got to find my midpoint. So the projector's central. So it's about 110 centimetres. So around about 55. I'm just gonna mark the midpoint. With a pencil obviously, so I can rub it off. That's about there. So they're actually self-tapping screws, but I'm just gonna do a tiny, tiny pilot hole. 
just a tiny one to help the screws. Okay, use the rubber now and the pencil. Get rid of those markings. There we go, solid. And then I just need to fit this, which just slots on, I believe. Nice. And now, I'm going to arrange that all over the place to get the right angle I want. I've ordered another thread for the top of this mount. Same company from Rock, uh, but it's a camera mount, which is what I need. A quarter inch camera thread, which is what I need to get this projector on there. So, I'll update you on that in a minute. Here's my control panel. Got the Webasto diesel heater there. My PMS system here, power management system my water where I can check my water levels my battery levels on the leisure battery and on the vehicle battery and then I've got my AC outlets here for when I'm on electric hookup USB chargers there and then a wireless phone charger there so I just got to figure out the layout because if I do to be honest this clock if I was going to wall mount it it would go like there but I don't know whether to, to, know whether to mount it on the just above the thing there, I'm not sure. I mean, to be honest, it, that's about the only place it can go. It has a little magnet on the back there, but it's very weak. If you can see that, that little magnet there is really weak. So I'm gonna put a magnetic strip here and use the magnetic tape to possibly put that up there. That fits quite well there. Or even this side. This is the tape I've got. Gouda or Gorda magnetic tape, basically with 3M backing. So it's an AB, which means one side is like it's like male and female one side will stick to the other so as long as i put one of these on the back of this and then a different one of these on the wall by the pms system then it should be good to go there we go magnet is installed there's a button there i can change this from celsius to fahrenheit so it reads obviously Fahrenheit for you guys across the pond, that's why I thought it'd be quite cool. There's the Fahrenheit. Celsius. Happy with that. Bit of pressure. But I went for magnetic because then I can remove it. If I need to, I can just remove that. Boom. That's pretty cool. Hopefully it stays on when I drive. We will find out. The other cool thing is if it's a really hot day outside, uh, maybe summer months, and I want to let you guys know how warm it is out there, or cold, I can just take this off, take it outside for a bit, and we can get the temperature from that, and punk it back up when I'm done. We'll see if it lasts, folks. Anyway, I'm going to link to that. If you're interested, I know some of you might be interested, I'll link the thermometer, and the magnetic tape, and obviously the projector, projector screen etc. I'll put a link to it in the description. All this I just got on Amazon because it's convenient, it's easy, generally comes next day. So I'll just put a link in the description below for those who are interested. So another addition I got is a fan for the when I'm cooking. And the cool thing about this fan is A it's quiet, B if I turn it on, that's low, so it's pretty quiet and it also if I press this button Look at that it oscillates and so basically when I'm cooking here that fan just rotates the air keeps it nice and fresh in here and on those hot days and it's clamped on and I've been driving with this and it's solid I can move it wherever I kind of want to really so the other great thing is I can move this along this back splashboard this backboard here wherever I want so if I need to cool the kids down in the summer months I can just face it towards them and as we're driving because there's no aircon back here there's no well it is aircon it's all in the cabin at the front there in the front cab so for them they don't have any fans back here so this fan can help blow cold air on the kids in the summer months but also it goes pretty powerful watch
That punches out sun air. Oh, it's blown all the instructions away. But you can see the power there. <laughs> it's pretty good. Really pleased with that as well. Not sure about the clock yet, folks, where I'm going to put it, whether I'm going to just have a magnetic strip there and have it there. You guys let me know. I'm not sure yet. If I'm going to have a magnetic strip, it will probably be there. And essentially this part here is the projector and then this is the mount. Yes, it's working. <laughs> what? Look, at, it's going to flicker, but look how crisp that is. You can't really, it does, it's not doing it justice, but that is so HD, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and there's the projector doing its thing. This is so good. First time ever watching a movie on a 50 inch screen in my camper van. And in case you're wondering how I'm watching YouTube on the device, I've basically just put my phone onto a personal hotspot for now. So I'm just using the 4G on my phone and it's streaming really fast. It's downloading fast. Uh, so yeah, that, I'm just using kind of the portable Wi-Fi on my phone. And it's absolutely awesome. Look, it's not stuttering. It's in HD. 